Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. Today I want to do a quick video about something that I think is super cool and that is bass necks with only 50% of the frets and how they're 100% cool. So those of you who've been following me for a little while know that one of my favorite things to do is only put some of the frets in my bass necks. Um, now this is something that actually I've been doing for quite a while, since the early 90s as a matter of fact. Um, I, uh, I pulled all the frets except for the first five out of a friend of mine's um, uh, five string bass that he got and because he liked to play fretless but he wanted, he thought you know the, the precision uh, aspect of the, um, the first five frets was something that he wanted and he wanted fretless the rest of the way. So we yanked all the frets out and, and backfilled the, um, the slots and it was so cool that many many years later I decided that I would want to start doing that again. Um, now on my basses I put the first seven frets in uh, which is probably too many actually, truth be told. Um, and I just left the rest blank. Not because I'm such a badass bass player who likes to noodle around in the fretless portion, but because I rarely go there, if ever. So, um, and in the plus column, the notes are still there. You just gotta work a little bit harder to get to them. So on this BC Rich Mockingbird that you guys might remember, we did a video on the other day. Uh, my friend Bruce, who is the customer for this, he decided he wanted the first eight frets and he wanted the rest fretless, but he wanted to have um, uh, uh, the, the fret slots backfilled for a more precise, um, you know, uh, uh, flavor, I guess you could say. I don't know what you could say. He wanted this to be precision and this to be precise. <laughs> How about that? Um, so you can even see, I have some notes written up here because if I don't write stuff down on the guitar body, generally I'll forget what people want. So anyway, um, we, what we did was, um, we put in the first eight frets. I don't know why he only wanted eight. I don't know, you know, there's probably some reason that he wanted eight. And the rest um, are, all, are all basically fretless, but you have these lines here. So um, now this is gonna be where someone goes, you should raise the fretboard on the fretless portion to be the same height as the, oh my God, people. Don't sweat it, it's okay. Guitars are, are supposed to be fun. So, <laughs> and I assure you, you can still play fretless if you have, you know, 40,000 difference. It really doesn't matter. Um, so anyway, um, the, the cool thing about using only uh, eight frets or seven frets, in this case, I got, I got away with just using one piece of fret wire. So that was kind of cool. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh, uh, here's what I wanted to show you. The, um, uh, hold on, you can't see if I go like, if I go like this and, and it's not on camera. So the, the portion where the um, precise fret uh, markers are, is actually filled with, um, it's a regular fret slot, like on this fretboard here, um, that I do on my radial arm saw. I've done videos on how to do that. Um, and then I backfill this with veneer. And in this case, I used maple veneer. Maple works great because it's a contrasting color and it basically just plops right in there. Um, you might have to sand the veneer a little bit to get it to fit in there, and then just wick super glue in and you are done. So, um, if you guys have ever thought that maybe you wanted to, you know, get chicks with by playing a, <laughs> a fretless bass, um, or if you're like me and this part of the fretboard could be made out of broken glass for as often as you go there, um, check out only doing a bass with some of the frets and you can be cool too. So guys, if you have any questions about what we are talking about in this video, or if you just want to tell me how handsome I am, I always appreciate that. Um, please leave that stuff in the comment section below. If you like these videos, give me the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you hit that subscribe button, please. Um, if you appreciate content like this, check out our Patreon page and consider becoming a member. Even a buck a month goes a long way to helping us bring you guys cool stuff like this. So I have to get back to work. Uh, I've got to shape this neck and get it ready. Uh, Bruce is a fairly intimidating guy, so I don't want to piss him off. So until next time, this is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, everybody. I